So today we start part C of module two, programming environment setup. Actually, we only need to do one software package setup. And also we want to get familiar with this software package. So that is exam. Actually, uh, I feel uh, many of you may already use this before. Here, just you know, for in case if some of the students they are still not quite familiar with this exam, uh, in this video, I give those students some basic knowledge. Yeah. All right. So let's start. Part C.1, Overview of Programming Environment. Yeah. First, so let us understand this example, Web Programming Software Bundle. First, it is a software bundle. Okay, So it's not just one single software tool. There are several very useful software tools needed for web programming. Yeah, for web programming. Yeah. All right, so first, let me just quickly go through these software tools. Yeah. The first one, X, yeah, so X, yeah, probably I talked about before. Yeah, here, let us just quickly go through operating system, right? Yeah, OS. OS, so we have Windows version, Mac version, and a Linux version. All right, yeah. X, because here, we when we use X, we get a general, general package for all operating systems. Yeah, for all, yeah, X. But, there are some special uh, packages for particular OS. For example, you may see uh, for Windows, uh, WAMP, right? Yeah. For Mac, MAMP, right? For Linux, LAMP. These versions, okay, yeah. yeah. The second one, a Apache server, Apache HTTP web server. The full name, HTTP web server. Yeah. Why we need it, right? This is a Java web course. Actually, when we do Java programming, we do not need to use Apache web server, right? We do not need to use it. Yeah. But there is a special reason. Because we need to use database. We need to use MySQL database. But when we use MySQL database, we want to manage our databases, right? When we manage MySQL databases, we need a special tool, and that tool relies on Apache server. So that's the reason we need to use that. Yeah. Later, I will explain this uh, relationship a little more. Yeah. The third one, M, right? Yeah, M, MySQL database. Yeah. The fourth one, the first P, PHP. PHP, server-side programming. Oh, programming language or scripting language, server-side programming. Yeah, PHP, why we need PHP? Because the tool, the tool running 
uh, you know, we use to manage MySQL databases is written in PHP programming language. So that's the reason we need a PHP, right? The fifth one, the last P, Perl. And we don't use this, okay? Yeah. So the last one, we don't use this, all right? Yeah. So you can see this bundle, the first four we need to use, but the last one we don't need to use. Yeah. But this PHP, the software tool that I mentioned to manage MySQL databases, it's called PHP MyAdmin, all right? So PHP MyAdmin. Yeah, this is the web application name for that managing tool, MySQL managing tool. Yeah, I will go there later. Yeah. So here you can see that's the content of that software bundle. That's the content. Okay, yeah, all right. And uh, so, so for you, some of you may already install exempt for other courses. Yeah. So you may learn other courses if it's, you know, for some reason. Yeah. Just use that old version. You do not need to re uh, uninstall, reinstall. Yeah. Just use that old version. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very convenient. You do not need to do anything. But for some students who have not installed this software bundle, then in the, yeah, here, uh, in the uh, canvas, I upload older version. Yeah. So Mac version and Win version. Oh, sorry, the opposite. The first one is the Win version. Second is the Mac version. All right. Yeah. The reason I include those, you know, two software, you know, binary there, the reason because we need to use old versions, not the current versions. Current versions, if because some students, they tend to install the current versions. So that may not be good. The current versions, yeah, here, the main reason, the current version. Does not contain MySQL. It is replaced. MySQL, that software package replaced by another software package called Mar MariaDB. MariaDB, the new software package name. The reason is simple. Yeah, the reason, basic reason, MySQL. Yeah. Uh, this one uh, acquired by Oracle. Oracle company. Yeah. Now it is controlled by the Oracle company. All right, yeah, but exam this exam software package, it's an open source. Yeah, they cannot include a product controlled by Oracle in an open source package, right? So, for that reason, they replaced MySQL by this MariaDB. Although the 
these two software packages are very close, but still there, there are some differences. But we don't want to, we don't want to, you know, work on the, you know, deal with that kind of differences. Yeah. So for that reason, so we still, we want to go back to the old MySQL. So for that reason, we need to use the older versions. Older versions. Yeah. But the older versions, although if I include, yeah, because in my tutorial, yeah, remember this tutorial, yeah, you can study tutorial. There are two versions, also Win version and the Mac version, I uh, include, yeah. But when you study, I include hyperlinks. If you use those hyperlinks, some of the students still, so they complain, so they send me messages. They cannot find the software. They need to download. For for me, many times I can, yeah, most time I can, yeah. But still, many students they couldn't find. So for that reason, I upload the binaries I downloaded before in Canvas. Yeah. So you you can you just download directly from there. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. Yeah. All right. Uh, for Oh, another thing uh, related to this software bundle. Yeah. Uh, when we download the software bundle in the for the installation, uh, if you use the tutorials, it is very easy. Yeah. For Windows, for Windows, the installation steps almost automatic yeah. but there is one step you should be careful in, in one window there is a checkbox by default it is check it and that checkbox asks you for permission to install you know ads a lot of ads my suggestion uncheck it uncheck it Otherwise, you will get a lot of, you know, garbage ads running on your computer. Yeah. So that is really bad. All right. So you just be careful. Do one important action here. Yeah. Other than that, you know, remaining Windows just take the default setting. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. But for Mac. It is a little more complicated. Yeah, uh, I cannot memorize the details. You just study the tutorial. Yeah, it should be quite clear. Yeah. All right. So then another good thing about the bundle: no configuration. Yeah. When we use the bundle, no configuration. That saves us a lot of work, hassle. Yeah. Because before this exam was available, we need to download each one, one by one. Apache server, MySQL software, PHP, uh, PHP my admin, you know, after we download them, we need to configure those software make them working together a lot of hassle based on my experience yeah about 50 percent of the students would get problems here and there then usually it takes a lot of time to fix the problem so very problematic but with this bundle no issue anymore yeah pretty smooth yeah all right so that is some background information about exam yeah. next i want to talk about basics of apache server and my sql sir uh 
you know software package a little bit. Yeah. Here I want to start with this window first. After you install XAMPP, you will have so here I use the window example. Yeah. For Mac, pretty much similar, yeah, but slightly different. Uh, you need to figure out by yourself. Yeah. All right. You will have this icon installed on your desktop by default. Yeah. So then you can click the start button for Apache Server MySQL database server so you get started when you get it started you can see the port 80 for apache uh, another one we do not use yeah yeah here uh, we mainly we use the port 80 yeah for mysql the port number 3306 the default port number Remember these port numbers because in our programming we need to use them. But 80, 80 it is special. It is a default port number for HTTP. Yeah. So let me write this way. Yeah. So the default. What's that? <clears throat> yeah. Default. Or uh, let me write this default HTTP port number. That's 80. Yeah. If it is default, that means you do not need to include it. You do not need to type it. When you do not type it, that means the default port number is used. That simple. For example, in order to access Apache server, so how, how do you access Apache server? Yeah, here. All right, yeah. Type URL. You start a web browser and type URL HTTP colon no S. Yeah, some student type S, it may not work. Yeah, no S, double slash, localhost. It is running on your computer, so you use localhost for the default domain. Yeah. You need to have a domain name, localhost. All right. Then, that's it. Because you use the default port number, yeah. If it's non-default, then you need to append colon then port number eighty, yeah. Because colon eighty default number, so you can, you know, you don't need to type it, yeah. So that that is so usually we skip the port number for the local case. Uh, you know, for the default case. So usually we type this to access Apache server. All right. So then MySQL, that port number, we access, we still, we use localhost. Yeah. Uh, but, but not HTTP. So later you will see we use a different protocol. In Java, we use a different protocol. Okay, yeah. The protocol we use JDBC Java Database Connectivity. JDBC Java Database Connectivity. All right. Colon MySQL SQL. Yeah. The protocol highest protocol name JDBC protocol sub protocol MySQL sub protocol under mysql protocol colon all right yeah okay uh, double slash all right so you can see replace http here we do not use http okay 
their local host. Then colon three three o six. Then the remaining, you know, you know, yeah, database name, right? Yeah. So the name. So in that way, you can access MySQL database. Okay, so that's why this is non-default port number. It is important. You need to include it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, and uh, another thing I want to get to your attention. Yeah. Because by default, these two software packages are not running on your machine by default. So when you, if you need to use databases, don't forget to start it first. Yeah, because people may, may forget. So when they do web programming, you know, they work on the Java side. Yeah, but then when they run the project, yeah, the database cannot be accessed. You know, first check the reason you mean you may not start your database server. All right? Yeah. So then you need to, you know, just get it running. So then restart your web application. Then you can see the result. Yeah. So that is uh, one thing you need to uh, pay attention. Yeah. All right. Uh, in this video, I do not get to the you know, basic operations in Apache and MySQL. Uh, just give you some very uh, basic information. Yeah. In the following videos, then let us get more and more uh, basic operations in Apache and uh, or background knowledge and in MySQL. All right, so let me stop here. Yeah.